Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing something that is certainly more on the Beyond side of GarageBand and Beyond, but something that worked really well for me and I thought would, you know, maybe come in handy for you guys someday. That's just one of those little tips. Um, so basically what happened to me in the last year, uh, I was dumb enough to do two things. I was dumb enough to drop my iPod touch into a river, and I mean like into the river, like under the water for, you know, a good five to 10 seconds before I was able to get it out. And then the other thing I was dumb enough to do was leave my old school cell phone here. And yeah, yeah, I know I still use a Motorola Razor. Don't write comments, I know, I'm old school. I like my old phone. Um, but anyway, I was dumb enough to leave this in my jeans and then put those jeans in the washing machine. And when I discovered what I had done, it was much too late. The thing was at the bottom of the washing machine, soaking wet, and um, I was able to get both devices to come back to life. And in the case of my phone, it works 100%. And in the case of my iPod, it works, I'd say, 98%. There's one little corner um, where you can see like there was like, I don't know, some dirt or something inside. So it's not exactly perfect, but the thing works exactly like it should works perfectly. Uh, the screen's just a little bit damaged, but not like I drowned it and it's 100% dead. So anyway, the trick, the trick, what did I do? Simple, easy thing, you might already have heard about it. Uh, just a box of rice. I you know, did a bunch of research online, figured out what other people do when they drop their stuff in the water. And um, the rice trick really, really worked. My only personal tip about this is be patient, you know, 48 hours. They say 24 online, I say minimum of 48. And don't keep opening it and checking, like put it in there for 48 hours and two days later you check to see if the thing's working. Be patient because the longer you leave it in there, uh, the more the rice will absorb the moisture out of your device. Um, you know, it's kind of like one of those, you know, home remedy things, but in my case, it definitely worked. And it's, you know, at least it's worth a shot. Instead of just throwing the thing away, you can go buy some real rice. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. Don't use minute rice, because that's kind of like pre-cooked or something like that. Just get regular white rice and put it in a box or a plastic bag, whatever you got. And then you just take the device and you just submerge it inside the rice. So it's all covered, close it up, leave it for 48 hours, and that's it. Um, so that's just sort of my stupid little tip for you guys, if, you know, Shit happens, and I'm sure that some of you have already done this and lost some electronics, and if it hasn't happened, chances are it's gonna happen to you. So now you have a way to hopefully, you know, bring your electronics back to life. That's it. Uh, good luck, everybody. I got more videos coming out this week. I'll see you soon, I hope. Later.